All right, in my last video, uh, we introduced the binomial probability distribution. Uh, we defined the terms, uh, and we looked at the formula. Uh, this video is going to focus on using the formula to actually get the answer. Uh, and we will also be talking about uh, determining the mean and the standard deviation. So. Uh, this formula looks a little intimidating, uh, but fortunately uh, we have a calculator and uh, in the calculator we're going to use the binope PDF distribution and we're going to insert n comma p comma x. Uh, some books actually, instead of using X here, they actually use a R for success. So you can say you're entering in NPR. Uh, we're going with X here. Uh, we're going to in N comma P comma X. So let's look at how to do that. Uh, I pulled up my calculator here. I'm going to turn it on. Uh, and uh, we're going to need to pull up uh, the binope distribution and the distribution would be under second vars. So second distr, and distr is short for distribution. So we're going to scroll, scroll down here, and then 0 and A are the two that are important for this topic. Uh, here we have the binope, and that's what we want. So we're going to select that, then we need our N. Uh, so in our last example we talked about uh, rolling a six-sided die, rolling a five, you'd have a one in six chance of rolling a five, a five in six chance of not rolling a five. Uh, let's say you roll that die seven times and you get exactly two successes. You roll a five twice. So what you need to enter in, by note of PDF, seven comma one six probability of a success in a single event. So you have you have seven events. Uh, the likelihood of having a success each time is one in six and then comma the number of successes two. So you're run, you're rolling and getting two fives. Maybe you get a five and a five and then you have five straight, straight rolls that are different things. Maybe you get a five on the second and fourth roll. That part doesn't matter. What matters is you're getting exactly two fives. And the calculator will calculate it for you. So that's a little less than 25%. Uh, so 23.44% of the time, you roll a die seven times, uh, you would expect to get uh, exactly two fives. So uh, that's how you use the calculator to calcul calculate the binote PDF. Uh, so, uh, or to use. This I use the calculator uh, to calculate a binomial distribution probability. Uh, but we're going to look at a slightly different problem now. Let's go back to this example. And now let's say instead of uh, getting a 5 two times, let's say I get a 5 uh, two times or less. All right. Slightly different language here. Instead of getting a 5 exactly 2 times, getting a 5 2 times or less. So I'm rolling the die 7 times. I'm either not getting any 5s, I'm getting just 1 5, or I'm getting 2 5s. So everything would stay the same. What we're looking for here is the probability of x being less than or equal to, so less than, and then I got to stick in the equal to line in a second, two. So let's stick in that equal to line here. All right, probability of x being less than or equal to two. So that would be the same as the probability of having exactly two, which is what we just calculated on the calculator plus the probability of exactly one, 
plus the probability of exactly 0. Now, I can do that in my calculator. I could add all three of these probabilities together. I could do binope 7, 1, 6, 2, binope 7, 1, 6, 1, binope 7, 1, 6, 0. Uh, but that's a little cumbersome. Uh, so there's a quicker way to go about doing that in the calculator. And that is with the binome CDF. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to go back to binome CDF. So the C stands for cumulative. So this would be our example over here, 7, comma, 1, 6, comma, 2. So the likelihood of rolling exactly 2 or exactly 1 or exactly 0, the probability of rolling uh, 2 or less would be about 90%. Most of the time you roll the die, you roll a die 7 times, you're going to get 5. Uh, two or less times. So